Hi, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to do something a bit special. Uh, this should have been done yesterday, but uh, since I'm on uh, board game night, um, so this has been kind of delayed. So, uh, without further ado, uh, this is a uh, unboxing, obviously. Um, I would very like much to say that this is actually a mystery box, but um, it's not because I already know what's going on. So, uh, from the box here, you can actually tell that. Uh, wait, let me just see if the echo is too big. Too yeah, is that echo back? Yeah, okay. So I guess uh, not so much echo is better. So we are supposed to have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items in this box. Uh, let's see if that's true. So what I'm going to do is um, this has been delivered to me from VFI, which actually you know that VFI develops a lot, deliver a lot of uh, Kickstarter stuff. And uh, it's no surprise that this is actually a Kickstarter item, okay? So I'm just going to like carefully cut this out. So then um, I don't cut myself and uh, I don't cut anything else besides than uh, what I'm supposed to cut, okay? So I think I got it. I think I got it. Wait, let me just put one more slice over this side to open up the box lid. Uh, it's always a bit challenging to do so with uh, one hand and uh, you know, better keep my knife safe before I cut something else that's not desirable. Okay, so um, this is what we have here. Okay, I'm gonna unbox this. Uh, can have you guys? I think you guys will know what I'm unboxing, by the way, you know, because of the title. So it's been a uh, fully wrapped in the bubble wrap. So that's a very, very nice thing to have. You know, it's like protects it against uh, damage. Okay, which I'm gonna take it out of the box. Um, hopefully, not dropping my phone. Uh, okay, so there's nothing else left in the empty box, which I'm gonna like just flip it this way. So that it doesn't get out of the way. Uh, this is the the box I have here. Um, I'm going to still use a knife to cut this because I only have, uh, can operate with one hand. So this is going to give me a bit of flexibility, and I hope uh, you know. I always wonder how people do this on uh, you know, on the rest of the YouTube videos. Do they have someone to help them cut this up? No. Well, certainly I don't. Um, as you can see over here. So. It's going to take a little bit longer while I, I'm talking to you guys. Okay, I enjoy talking to you guys. Okay, which is why I made uh, I made this video anyway. So we are going to do a very very uh, cute game today because this game um, it's not really so much on. Okay, I, I this is unfair. Okay, but I must say that um, it's not really so much on this game itself that uh, I'm very impressed with the campaign. It's actually because. During the campaign, uh, there's a lot of games that actually went went on with the with this game. When during the Kickstarter launch, and uh, I was very impressed with the games. And at a point in time, uh, I participated in almost every single one. Actually, I participated in every one of them. Uh, hopefully, I could win something from them, but uh, obviously, I didn't. Um, so they they padded the rest of the space. There's not a um, there's not a uh, fill with stuff because you know there are some stuff here and there's not no stuff here. Uh, so they, they gave me some of this, which actually is not bad. It protects against crushing all this stuff. And uh, what do we have here? Okay, so this is a uh, frame craft. So this is a fancy dragon miniature, the pink uh, the pink dragon. So it's supposed to be this uh, flower selling dragon, I guess. He sells flower, right? Um, well, actually, I don't think he's uh, limited to you know selling whatever he is because it depends on uh, the roles you get in the game, I think. And these are the exclusive uh, dragons that are designed by uh, Sandra Tang um, And the model is done by Eric uh, Tosco So this is a um, very very cute miniatures uh, Not too much details but you know, cute is enough I'll put it on one side Oops uh, Hope it doesn't cut anything Okay so we are going to have some uh, What are all these? These are like, I think the additional cards Okay so the additional cards, this is in English uh, we have the Spice Tower. No, obviously you know there is a um, is is a punch of one of the uh, very very famous uh, uh, YouTube channel. That's for um, uh, you guys know it's Dice Tower, you know, and this is Tom Vessel. Uh, so it's like you know it really really has a very very nice art that really looks like him, and it brings out the best in him, I guess. Um, well, so so we have a bunch of additional cards here. I think which is like the um, this is the art prints. Okay. Uh, I guess it's some kind of uh, there's 15 cards here, so I'm not sure how to use this yet. Um, it looks nice. 
Should I open it and take a look guys? With you guys? Let's do that. So this is always like uh, un it's, it's unboxing I might as well do it. If nobody else is doing it, well you've seen it here first. So uh so we got this is uh one card I guess. Yep. You have a very nice uh, design behind uh, of a town as well. And then uh, here we have a uh, where the setup which shows it tells you how to swap all the six starter cards. Uh, I guess there are more cards here of course. Uh, and we have uh, uh more cards here, you know, like oh no, this is really cute. Just look at the you know, so we're preparing some sort of uh, flaming uh, dish for this uh, you know red hair witch. Uh, yep, cute witch anyway, and uh, in the bread house I guess, something like that. The restaurant and um, this is the art print for the uh, Framecraft Adventures. So uh, I don't know, this looks really like postcards, you know, but you're gonna. They're gonna bet sure that I'm not gonna send any of this away as a postcard to anybody because you know I love all the art. I wanna keep it all right. So um let me put this back into into the bag, okay, while I talk to you guys. So um you should know this by now that this game is Framecraft. It's a it's a very very cute uh, worker placement game with uh dragons, uh which takes on all sort of uh, different jobs and uh, in the town. So what do we have here is a, is a coaster and like hell I'm gonna put some coffee and stain this. Nope. Look at this how cute those dragons are. Right, the plant dragons. Having a you know a picnic in a forest. And uh, more picnics for a different bunch of uh, well I hope there's no booze because it does looks like something flamey. Uh there's there's meat and everything, I guess uh, and also these are like meat eating dragons I guess. And uh Actually, I don't really even recall what we have. So we already have three items that's un unwrapped here already. So we have the you know one miniatures, uh, the coaster, and uh, you know a bunch of postcards, I guess, or you know cards. Then uh, this is uh, the pins, I think. This is the pin for the um, the Amira print pin. Uh, this is really nice. Look at the texture. So you can tell that the 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 gold embroidery is like kind of a three D. It shines really well, right? Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Four item there. So we have some more paddings, I guess. There's always no harm to it. Now uh, we have bookmarks. So bookmarks, this is the fifth item. Okay, bookmarks. Uh, let's take a look at bookmarks. I think the bookmarks are all very nice. Okay, so bookmarks is probably the only thing that I likely will use, uh, especially if it's on this game, if I need to like bookmark uh, some particular part of the, uh, the rule book or something like that. So we have uh, this uh, dragons with his, his homework. Okay, uh, both sides. So it's reverse uh, dragon with um, I guess a, a, a some sort of a, a glass of uh, ice fire. Uh, Not dragon reading a book. Uh, dragon uh, eating off some um, I don't know cookie. Cute. Uh, this is the green one we saw just now. You know, having the you know in the forest picnic, right? Yep. And uh, Dragon enjoying tea of course, you know, why not? And a uh, really very really fancy, uh, another one of these fancy dragons here we have, is the, the pink color one. Not sure whether it's this, it, this could be the very one that we have in the miniature, right? You know, the pink color one that we, uh, we saw in the first item. So a bunch of, uh, I think, six books right here. So this is my item, um, one, two, three, four, five, item five, right? Yep, so that's item five, uh, and then I guess item six will be this uh, this sticker sticker. Uh, I think it's pre cut. Yes, you can see, tell that there's these uh, thin lines that go around the dragon. Can you see? Yeah, so it's pre cut. So we are uh, no cutting required. Just peel it off and stick it onto whatever you fancy. Uh, it's double sided. Okay, how I wish I could get more of this because I think the stickers look cool. Uh, there's a lot of fancy small items such as like the bread, the pizza, you know, uh, lettuce, uh, cards, uh, dragon bathing. Yeah. And of course, we come. Uh, how can we miss out? This is the final stuff, which is actually the board game itself. So the board game has also been protected by uh, all these, uh, what I call board game protectors, before a better name of it. They protect the corners. Usually, they are placed at the uh, four corners or eight corners of the board games to prevent the, you know, the corners from being uh, crushed, bent when it comes to impact with something 
Okay, so um, so this is the this is the fan craft. The um, front cover of it. I tell you what, I'm gonna like get rid of this uh, bubble wrap so that I could like uh, open this box and show you guys what's inside. Okay, so bubble wraps goes one side before he hits anybody else. And I think I dropped another piece of the bubble wrap. So there's a few pieces of bubble wrap that's going around around here. So I'm just gonna keep it one side. Okay, so uh, so also I'm gonna like throw the the pieces of these uh, white white forms to one side because I can probably reuse them for you know nature painting or something like that. Okay, so we have very nice artwork. Now uh, this this is published by Lucky Duck for uh, for certain part of the world I think, and uh, Arcane Wonders for the rest uh, also is also a publisher. So they have a uh, very strong backing to it. Uh, it plays one to five layers, about an hour and uh, H10 plus. So perfect for you know. I don't know. I've recently seen one uh one thread asking about like uh, brownies H8 I guess. But you know, I thought this would have been you know really fits the bill. Although it's like uh they are H8. I don't know if H10 plus really will is a no necessity. But maybe we could do with it. I'm not sure. But I didn't suggest this game. I suggested parks. So anyway, uh, we have um, we have in this magical realm, a visit a village awakes and uh, artisans dragons becomes co makes coffee and cakes. Yes, so compete to uh, Chinatown in this dragon placement game. Uh, we have uh, engine building one to five players. So this is like some somewhat the how the board looks like, which is actually totally fantastic with all the cute artwork. Uh, you know, cute dragons cube shops uh, you know dragon living it in uh, harmony with everybody else and there's some miniatures involved so the pink miniatures are additional miniatures and um did i say again of course is the published by the two uh, publisher i mentioned uh, and uh it features game trays okay so this is the authentic game trays uh i should show you what it looks like uh because i kind of already knew what it looks like but well, uh, there's no harm. So, uh, as most other board games is made in China. Okay, so, so um, without further ado, I'm gonna like fix the box here. Uh, I'm gonna like carefully cut this uh, with my pen knife so that um, so that I get to keep the outer cover. So this is always has been my strategy on how to uh, keep the board game covers on top. I mean, there are other ways to do it, and uh, there are people who tell me that they could like cut this uh, with tabs. Um, but I guess I still have not acquired that skill so I'm gonna change hand um, and be doing it with my left hand not to show that because I could do it with both hands but because it's easier to hold the uh, well it's not even <laughs> close I guess not that easy so I tell you what I'm gonna like uh, just put this on the box while I cut this you know I'm still right handed uh, so this this still works very well with my right hand not my left hand okay and of course, I'm gonna like use washi tape and tape, tape out the, the side of it. Obviously, you know, that's how I do most of my new generations of board games. So off comes that uh, back cover. Uh, and I'm gonna flip this back again uh, to the front and put the pen knife aside before it hurts anybody else. And I'm um, gonna put this down while I leave it. Okay, so here we have uh, this actual unboxing of the board games. Wow. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the uh, rules of play. Which is a pretty nicely printed book, uh, okay. But I'm afraid this is a bit uh, comes uh, most comes easy to this type of texture, if I did not remember wrongly. So I'm going to like have to maybe spray this a little bit with the anti mold, okay. Uh, and we have uh, we have very nice artwork inside. Uh, it tells us about the components. I'm going to count the components obviously later. Um, the player box is going to tell you how to set up the player box. Um, a lot of white space and a lot of the text are uh, rather large so it's a uh, so it's a very nice uh, read it's not uh, you know it doesn't need you to look through uh, you know your thick glasses or something like that and um, there's plenty of artworks to go along with the manual i think it's pretty well written in the sense okay so this is not the even the first time i saw the manual i had saw the uh, preview of the manual okay and um, of course, it, uh, there's quite a lot of rules here. There's some uh, learning rewards, uh, feeling the shops, uh, place the dragon. So it tells you step by step and then, you know, uh, you have to fire up the dragon's ability, uh, use the shop ability, 
and you know you gain the gift and also of, of the various dragons swapping in uh, one resource for another not like typical uh, you know europe style uh, worker placement there's also uh, enchanting a shop of course this is something uh, slightly different and uh, you know creating how to create the enchantment using the ability cards and then uh, you know fire out more dragons of course and uh, you know there's some clarifications on some of the uh, icons and special cards and uh, we also have um, some limits on uh, you know goods and uh, how many dragons you actually can be holding uh, how to expand the towns and how the games ends uh, this is very important and how to break ties breakers so this is something that's uh i guess it's pretty important for you know kids especially when it needs to have it black and white you know we can't have arbitrary there's two winners i don't think kids uh take that easily uh, they have to win right <laughs> So anyway, uh, there's also some uh, summary of the abilities of the various artisan dragons we have here, you know, of the various colors. Uh, and they give you the full details here, uh, which and the shops as well. Okay. So there's a like reference guide right there and uh, covering as well more stuff, um, such as clarification, uh, how the fancy dragon works, as well as the how the, uh, the companion works. Okay, so they are, they are like companion cards. I guess this is like the optional rules which come like an uh, expansion of sort. And uh, there's also the uh, rules for the solo mode which don't worry because it's one to five players, you can always play alone. So uh, so much for having a board game, but uh, you know, it's entirely possible and there's achievement for you to you know, get hold of it. And this is one of my favorite spots. Uh, no, it's not even a spot, but it's one of my favorite things uh, recently, you know, like arte art stuff. And uh, this totally digs it for me. So dragons right you know playing by the pool so uh, this is from cardboard academy which is actually the companies that uh, design created everything so all the credits deal here um a special shout out to uh sandara tang which actually uh she's i think she's from singapore as well so um you know that's um one of my proud one of my fellow uh designers uh, who is actually this is a very very nice board game and this is like totally cuteness and everything for me I mean, I wouldn't have thought twice about like backing this. I will guess. I hope that I could. I know say that this is the game that I did not regret uh, five years down the road. So, um, in the gist, one is so amazing about one of the first thing I must say is that they have a play map for their, the board, and the play map fits into the box. Okay, so how many games does that? One. Yeah, it's okay. So this is the one. So and uh, you know this is nice, nice way to you know I want to bring the whole game to a party or something like that, and I want everything to fit and the play maps have to be part of it. And this is designed by Game Trace. Although these Game Trace are very very thin though, this is the white Game Trace that they are first using it for the first time. This looks like any typical type of uh, trace that's out there, except that it's a bit tighter than the rest of the. Uh, this is thicker than the normal normal or those. Uh, uh, once you get from the other China productions uh, but this is pretty thin uh, it's thicker than most as well so so I would say that but it's not as thick as some of the game trays you might have known in the past uh, and it holds very well looks I mean I'm just holding it by the lid it doesn't drop okay? so we have two trays of this which I think are uh, repeated icons uh, so that you can like spread them on both sides of the reminds me of the you know parks right parks has the same thing and then and right at the bottom we have this uh, game trace uh, uh, thing that actually um, holds everything in place okay so it's, it acts like so it also divides uh, it acts as like a divider it divides the uh, play map away from the the icons okay so this the uh, token sorry the me post and uh, so we have uh, next this also like as a this game tray has a function because it also helps to put this lid on which actually holds the cards okay, so there's a lid here which is of a uh, pretty good thickness okay i think you know, for the sound i hope you can tell how thick it is okay so they are like super sized card i'm not sure if i can get the sleeve for this uh i probably need a hunt for sleeve straight after this okay so uh we have one set of cards here uh which is like is uh i think it's i think it's been, i'm not wrong these are the shops because it's like it's busy at shops okay and there's uh, some instruction on the shops this looks like a shop actually you know uh and then we have the you know the cards that shows the various action and uh, stuff happening at a various location so i guess maybe all of these are shop cards and stuff okay sorry if, uh, because it's been really a while since the last okay we have man we have uh, this metal coins 
Metal coins, uh, do I need more of them? Uh, absolutely not. But let's take a look. We start with this ma uh, metal coins. Uh, why do I always want to say magic coin? Because just because this is a magic theme with dragons doesn't mean that you know the coins are magical. But who knows? Uh, they could be magical. So we have one silver one, uh, which actually is very very. Um, it's the from the frame craft. Okay, and uh, we have a cute dragons on this. So there's only one of this, and uh, a lot of the gold ones, which I think are so on the smaller domination. Denomination. It's the same pattern, but they are of a smaller denomination, I guess, because there's only one silver, or maybe this is just a special first player marker or something like that. If I'm not wrong, it is this first player marker, isn't it? Okay, so we have the Meeple, okay, for the various dragons. A uh, whole bunch of them here, okay. Uh, and we have, um, okay, so because I have turned the box upside down, so some of the meeples might have like rearranged uh, themselves a little bit. So we have the small hearts to represent the various uh, the various uh, players here. And then we have the uh, meeple shapes, which are actually supposed to go in this way, I guess. So we have, um, we have all six of them here. Okay. But of course, below that, you can see that there's already uh, six miniatures waiting to stand by. And I'm sure you want to see the miniatures more than the meeples, but let me show you the, some of the meeples, okay? So the meeples are like the uh, painter on it, so it's not plain meeples, okay? Although they all look the same. So we have the miniatures, uh, okay? So like, help me spot if the, I think the miniatures are broken or anything like that. Okay, I... It's going to be give me heart attack if the miniatures are broken. Okay, they are not highly detailed as in, you know, this part are all smooth. Uh, if you want to paint them, you'll always smooth. But the scales are popped up, so you know, as you can see, you can like put the wash below, uh, you know, between the the scales of each layers, and uh, you know, and even the the ground is textured. So uh, still, I would still say it's a pretty good miniature. Um, pretty fun to paint them, I guess. And the red ones. Okay, so so the front part is uh the front part is a bit plain. Okay. But there are some scales on the side as well. So I wouldn't say the miniatures are of the highest quality on the details, but they are cute, no doubt right of that, I guess. Because this game is meant to be cute. So look at some of the scales and uh, you know and the eyes. I think this will be challenging to you know paint out the, the cuteness of the miniatures. But nevertheless, it's so adorable, isn't it? Right? And we have this uh dark blue one which has a little bit of a uh, you can see the, uh, the the tooth coming out so they are simple they are meant to be cute so don't don't uh, compare this with uh, blood rage or you know some of the other more detailed miniatures okay so but they do their job you know they're supposed to look cute and looks fun for kids playing them and there's plenty of uh, empty space here oh no so this is not empty space these are meant for the coins okay and there's a pouch that's I think for holding uh, some tokens or is it the coins? I'm not sure. Maybe it's for holding the coins so that you know uh, that I have, to, I have to get to the rule. Uh, maybe I'll do a playthrough since you know I spend so much money uh, on this on my own. So why not I do a playthrough and show you guys? But I'm sure there's already uh, plenty of playthroughs out there. Um, but um, well, I guess there's no harm having one more. So uh, when I get a chance, I'll do that. Especially the you know. So there are more cards here. Uh, these are this looks like standard uh, mini size, either mini euro or mini US, which uh, shouldn't be a problem finding a sleeve for them. Okay, and we have this. More of this. Uh, so we have three stack of cards here. So I'm not sure if that's all of it. Uh, this this is this looks like it's ability cards. And all these fits together, you know, in the inlay, we you know which are all slots for everything. So I guess maybe they're six if they're six style cards, they're meant for you to spread all in all six of this region. So I can tell that there's like multiple uh, colors of cards here already. Uh, I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe, you know. So all meant to go in the different slots of it. Uh, you know, and if you just leave it, plenty of space for everything. And uh, you know the big ones are supposed to go here. But I'm still not sure if the big ones. You know, so there's a there's a catch catching the cards from uh, flying all over the place. But if you sleep this, this will eventually become thick. Uh, so I'm not sure what is the best situation. Maybe I won't sleep this card. I will have to like check out other guys from uh, BGG and see what they say. Okay, so I guess uh, I'm really yawning, and uh, you know. 
we have to put this back to uh, hold this thing back in place. So perfect place, uh, you know, and there's some empty spots here, they, even for the, you know, sticks, which you know that I'll put my dry sticks here. So this looks like a perfect place to put some of the dry sticks. And so here we have, that is a uh, flame craft. I think what uh, what I need is probably to reproduce some of the uh, some of the player sheets uh, on its own, so that you know I can use it as a quick reference guide. So make a bit OCD. I want to put this in the you know right right position. Okay, so that I, so that they do not looks like they are like uh, all over place. Okay, so this is Flamecraft. So what do you guys think? Uh, okay, so. Flamecraft is um, not exclusive to Kickstarter. You could actually get this uh, in retail, the retail version. Except the retail version does not include, uh, I think it doesn't include the miniatures and the metal coins, if I'm not wrong. And of course, it's all those stuff that, you know, I mentioned, you know, you know what, the, all this stuff. Yep, you don't get all this. And guess what, you pay the same price. So that is that is why why uh, I wanted to back this in Kickstarter. And uh, I think why I said that I asked you guys to back it back then when we have a kickstarter channel but uh i guess um well it, it could be it could be yeah, because you weren't interested or maybe this is just not your top game you know for whatever reason but um i guess since it's already out there's always a chance that someone who might got it uh, might find that this is not the game for them uh, so they might actually you know let go of it well who knows but anyway this is uh framecraft for me and uh I can't wait to try this out. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like my video, I hope you can like you know hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and you know, uh, hope that I could bring more video of this to you. Uh, you know, and um, I hope this has been useful for you, showing you the game of uh, Framecraft. Um, not sponsored or you know affiliated in any way, and it's just from a gamer to a gamer. I'll see you soon.